Hi there. Yeah, it's science time. Well, actually, it might not seem like science time because when we're in reception class, science is a big mixture of how we live our life, how we know about things in our life. And they might not feel like science, but that's just how it is. And one of the things I noticed, everybody, that's, that some of you were having if difficulties with was knowing who mum, dad, grandma, granddad, auntie, uncle, um, sister, brother, and what that actually meant. So I thought this was a really good time when you should be, well, you will be spending more time with um, some the grown-ups in your life to have a good chat with them and to find out who, um, who grandma and granddad. Do you have a grandma and granddad? All families are really different and that's what makes them fantastic. And so you need to find out about your unique family. So today I'm gonna to call our work, my family. My family. And your family will be different from my family. My family will be different from someone else's. And that's what we have to um, accept about life. Now, you need to know your family story. So the best people to ask are the adults in your family, in your family, in your life. Now, the biggest people, and the most important people that have been in my life are my mum and dad. And I'm very lucky my mum and dad are still here. They're still alive. Um, at Miss Lisa's huge age, sometimes I might have lost my mum and dad, but I haven't. So I'm going to put on my family tree, I'm going to talk about my family. Now, remember, my family are going to be different from your family um, because I'm a lot older than you anyway. I'm going to talk about my immediate family, so I'm not going to put my children on here, but I can do because I don't think you're going to have children. Am I right? Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to have children, so we won't talk about children, but you're definitely going to have um, some people that had you as a baby, you're going to have their mums and dads, and you're going to have your mums and dads, brothers and sisters. So let's get going on those words. And I know um, some of you will call them nicknames, but I'm going to go through the English words because that will help our friends who are learning English too. So here we go. So uh, actually the first person I should put on my tree is me. So there's me because it's my family tree. So there's Lisa. And I have, like I said, a mum. She's going to go down there. She's called Joan. And a dad. And he's called Fred. So Joan is a girl and Fred is a boy. And so what we do is we put a female a female, that means girl. Well, I suppose we could put girl and boy. What do you want to do? Should we put girl and boy? No, let's put female, because we know about these posh words, don't we? So female is a girl and male is a boy. So my mum is a female. What am I? Well, I'm female, so I need a f, don't I? It's a good job we've been learning these phonemes. So my mum and dad, had me as a baby. So they are my mum and dad, I am their daughter. That's a good word, a daughter. So I am their daughter, daughters are female, they're the girls. Now I have a brother and a sister. So these brothers and sisters, what I've done, I've put my dad in the wrong, Look at that, I've got them wrong, I've got my brother up there. I don't know Miss Lisa. I'm back again. Now I put my brother as my dad, big, big mistake to make. So there's my dad. And he 
He's a boy, so he needs a mm, doesn't he? Right, start again. So mum and dad had me as baby, and that makes them me, my their daughter. Now they also had a boy, Jay, who is my brother. He's my brother because he's a boy, and he also these two people have them as a baby. So he is their son. He's my mum and dad's son. I am their daughter because I'm female and my brother Jay is my mum and dad's son. Now we also have a sister, Linz, and Linz is a girl. So she is a female. Now she's my sister. So my brother is a boy and my sister is a girl. And my sister is also a daughter because she's a girl. So my mum and dad have two daughters and one son. Now, my mum, she had a mum and a dad and they had her as a baby. But unfortunately, her dad has died. So my mum doesn't have a dad anymore, but she did have a dad. Now, he was my granddad. So my mum's mum and dad were my grandma and my granddad. There they are. <laughs> so we've got my grandma and my granddad. My grandma is a girl, so she's female. My granddad is a boy, so he's male. And they had my mum. My mum is their daughter because she's a girl. And I am my mum's daughter, so I am their granddaughter. They're not my mummy and daddy, they're my mum's mummy and daddy. My mum is my mum. This is where it starts to get a bit complicated. So my mum and dad both had mums and dads. So my dad's mum is still alive. And my dad's dad is still alive. So they're pretty old. So my grandma, and my granddad had my dad as a baby. He is their son. So my grandma is a female, she's a girl, and my granddad is a male, he's a boy. My dad is a male, he's a boy, so he is their son. So grandma and granddad had a boy, had a son. He was their baby. And then my dad had me. So I am their granddaughter because I'm a girl. I'm a granddaughter. Now, sometimes on a family tree, if you see a d in brackets like this, it means a big word deceased it means they've died so at the moment my granddad thank heavens is the only one on my family tree that's died everybody else is alive and a family tree um it just helps you to think about who's in your family and who's not this is my very closest family now my dad had a brother and that makes him my uncle i haven't done a picture of him but i'm going to put it like that and 
my mum had a sister. So that's my auntie. So a girl is an auntie and a boy is an uncle. So my mum had a brother as well and he would have been my uncle but he was a sailor and he died unfortunately. So he isn't there, he's not alive anymore and that's what your family tree starts to tell stories like that doesn't it? So I had a sailor in the family and he was my mum's brother and he had an accident at sea so he's died. So on my mum's side of the family two people have died and it's sad but that's our family story. And my dad had a brother, has a brother and he's still alive. So he can be on my family tree. I just haven't done a picture of him. So let's try and put some words to it because English, you know, I've told you this before, is very, very difficult to get your, your head around. So let's take these off. So this is me. This is my family, my family tree. Oh, sorry, Granddad. So I call my dad, dad, but some people call them father. Father, dad, dada, daddy. I'm going to take this off. There's some of the words that you might hear. And I'm sure if you have uh, your own language, then you have other words as well. But these are the words that will be understood in England. Father, daddy, dada and dad. And mum could be, well I call, I actually call a mam because we're Irish and a northeastern. So mam is what's said a lot. So I have to remember to say mum because a lot of people don't know what I mean when I say mum. So you can call a mother, mummy, mama, and mum or mum like Lisa does. There's a lot of names, isn't there? Now the biggest list I have is for grandma. So we can call our grandma, grandmother, grandma like I do, granny, nanny, gran, nan, phew, all those words. So if you choose one and stick with it, and I know Abijah, you call yours Jima, don't you? Yeah. And grandfather, well, I could only think of two words. I'm sure you can think of more than two words. Grandpa is another one. Grandpa, grandpop, pops. There's lots and lots of different words. But it's important that you know who these people are in your life. Now, sis, my sister, brother, bro, bro, brother. Usually you call them by their names, don't you? Yeah. If it's your brother and sister. Now your brother and sister come from, they're the babies of your mum and dad. Some of you get a little bit confused where if you live near your aunties and uncles and they have children, they're called your cousins, not your brothers and sisters. And some of you get a bit confused about that. So have a chat with your family. Do you have cousins? Do you have uncles and aunties? Real uncles and aunties? Because sometimes we call uncles and aunties people that really, really know your family well and your mummies and daddies trust them. So really find out who you have in your family. So I've got these words too, uncles and aunties. Now there's not a lot more Miss Lisa can do for you because it's your turn to go and have some discussions with the adults in your family. And it's time for you to have a think about making your family tree. So you could give me drawings, you could send me photographs, you could send me a little video if you want to. That would be great. I'd love to see any work that you can put together. I know it's a hard time because sometimes you don't have the, the things that you need to do 
So I haven't got a lot of things at home and I'm having to use what I can find. And you can probably tell, but that's okay because we can learn all the time. We're always learning, aren't we? So try to learn these words because we have in our next topic when we all get back to school a book which really needs you to know what a daddy is, what a mummy is, what daughter and a son, what a grandma and a granddad and possibly auntie and uncle are and how they fit into the family. So have a really good chat. Maybe have a look at some photographs. That's a good idea. Spend a lovely hour or so with your mums and dads, aunties, uncles, granddads, granddads, significant others, and just looking at photographs and talking about them. And don't forget to ask lots of questions because that's the way we learn. Who's that? Where are they? When was that? How many years ago? What's her name? What's his name? Okay. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, look forward to all of the different ways that you're going to send some work in and well look for your next piece of work dun, dun, dun. it's gonna be oh maybe I should tell you now what you need no actually I'll leave that to Miss Holly she'll tell you what you'll need for the next science film see you soon everybody really take care of yourself wash those hands where's my hand wash those hands catch your sneezes and look after your family bye everyone <laughs>